Bill O'Reilly did an interesting segment on the Muhammad cartoon shooting, which is getting some positive coverage on the left, believe it or not. So let's watch, and I'll explain why I disagree. Defeating the jihad by not being dumb. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The Garland, Texas Police Department is keeping secret the name of the hero cop who shot two jihadists dead on Sunday. That, of course, for his own protection as radical Muslims are a dire threat. We all know that. Now, there is a controversy over whether the anti-Muslim group who ignited the situation did a foolish or a noble thing. Donald Trump weighed in on the group's leader, Pamela Geller. It looks like she's just taunting everybody. What is she doing with uh, drawing Mohammed? And uh, it looks like she's actually taunting people. You know, I'm, I'm one that believes in free speech probably more than she does. But what's the purpose of this? Mr. Trump is correct by setting up a contest and awarding $10,000 for a depiction of the Prophet Muhammad. The American Freedom Defense Initiative spurred a violent incident. That wasn't smart, even though the group has its supporters. Mike, I'm withholding his last name, in Fairbanks, Alaska wrote, Megyn Kelly was completely right and you were completely wrong, O'Reilly. An event like this should be held daily. If the Muslim world doesn't like it, tough. Insulting the entire Muslim world is stupid, Mike. It does not advance the cause of liberty or get us any closer to defeating the savage jihad. You may not have noticed, but some Muslim countries are now fighting ISIS and Al-Qaeda themselves. Jordan and Egypt, two of the most powerful. So, Mike, you think it's a smart strategy to insult the Muslim countries of Jordan and Egypt by besmirching their religious icon? Do you? No. But that's the thing, Bill. If you're a moderate Muslim, by definition, your reaction to Muhammad cartoons will be to brush it off. Because that's what moderates do. They don't kill over cartoons. And they're not sympathetic to killers over cartoons. So, again, I don't understand where this, you know, this position is coming from. I honestly think a lot of it has to do, maybe not in Bill O'Reilly's case, but certainly with, like, Franklin Graham, for example, who weighed in on this earlier. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there are a lot of fundamentalist Christians who essentially are jealous. They want the right to censor people who criticize Christianity. So when they see Muslim fundamentalists essentially censoring people who criticize Islam, they're like, yes, I want to get in on that. You had Franklin Graham who said it was, quote, wrong to have a Muhammad cartoon event. No, 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 it's not. And I see right through you. I know what you're doing. You're just trying to make it so that, you know, when you get angry over piss Christ, when they put a Jesus cross into a bucket of piss, you can stand up and say, I think we should have a law against this, and I think it makes sense if people attack this person, or, you know, you're, you're vicious in your disagreement, or, you know, you try to stop them by any means necessary. That's essentially what these people are getting at. Make no mistake about it. So, uh, another area of this that Bill O'Reilly and other people are not grasping is that he said this, quote, by awarding $10,000 for a depiction of Muhammad, the group spurred a violent attack. But that's exactly the disagreement, Bill. There is nothing that anybody can draw that can spur an attack. If you say, because essentially what you're saying is, oh, you're kind of asking for it. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. You could dislike the people who drew the cartoon, and you could look at their positions on all the issues and say, these guys are just assholes, and that's true in the case of Pam Geller and all of her buddies. But that doesn't mean that they were asking to be murdered. That doesn't mean that they should expect a jihadist to rush in there and kill them. He makes it seem like, you know what it is, he's criticizing the victim here in the sense that he's grandfathering in the stupidity of jihadists to try to kill people in response to it. But that's the thing to criticize, Bill! The thing to criticize is when people try to kill people over cartoons. That's not acceptable under any circumstance. And you can't casually say, well, they spurred the attack by holding this contest. Really? They spurred the attack. So do I spur attacks from religious crazy people on me when I mock religion like I do every single day? D if Bill Maher gets shot by an Al-Qaeda operative... Did, did, was he asking for it because he criticized Al-Qaeda? How about when Bill Maher called Catholicism a baby-fucking cult? If uh, some Catholic decides to kill Bill Maher over that, put a bomb in his bathroom or something, it would, it, can Bill O'Reilly say, Well, look, he spurred it by being so anti-religion. What'd you expect? 
No, but in a free society, you should be uh, able to criticize bad ideas without having to worry about your head getting blown off. There's no such thing as spurring an attack. Nobody's asking for an attack when they're using speech or when they're drawing things. Okay, again, I get it. Pam Geller, not a good person. Her group, not good people. They're right-wing assholes and they're hypocrites. Okay, but that's a different conversation. One in which I agree with all the criticisms against that group. But on this issue, did they spur the attack? No, you're not spurring an attack if you're drawing a fucking cartoon. You're not asking for any violence. The bottom line is this, man. Criticizing bad ideas is the point of free speech. And to have a belief that anybody deserves to die because they drew a cartoon, that's a bad idea. That idea alone deserves criticism. That idea deserves nothing but criticism. The idea that we should respect in a free society or a liberal society or a democracy, that some people think you can maybe do violence against people who draw something? Fuck no! In any other context, people would realize how absurd that is. If there was some sort of rule that you can't, you know, uh, mock the Roman Empire, and somebody drew a picture mocking the Roman Empire, and then somebody killed that person because of that, or tried to kill them, everybody would go, what are you, fucking stupid? You're gonna kill somebody because they mocked the Roman Empire. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What's wrong with you? That idea makes no sense. But when it's uh, Islam, when it's a belief in that religion that maybe you could do violence against somebody who uh, mocks the prophet, all of a sudden now it's more debatable. Well, you did make fun of it. You were kind of asking for it. You did spur the violence on. No, you didn't. You're never asking for violence. You can mock all day long and you're not asking for violence. That's not an appropriate response under any circumstance.